Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated and you are welcome. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Okay, whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you, past, present, or future. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you, past, present, and future are dismantled. As I have said, so shall it be. Okay? Judgment is final. Really quickly, there's something where I've been picking up on a higher fence. Now, I don't know if this higher fin is like a TV one. This is a religious leader or maybe someone that pretends to be religious publicly. Whether this is someone on TV, this is someone in a local community, there's a higher fin out here that is serving to God. Okay. Uh, and I think I picked up on this energy uh, a week or so ago. Someone has like some type of addition. You know, I can't really say the word on here. But he has some type of addition he's dealing with. When it comes to the bottle and uh, women, someone watches a lot of, you know, inappropriate videos. Uh, he downs a bottle a lot. Someone is a narcissist and very hard, hardly ever in life. Do you ever think that a pastor, a priest, a bishop, uh, whatever else they are, reverends will be that the genuine ones, they don't partake in stuff like that. But you know, the world we're in today Nothing is really surprising, but there is a pastor, a bishop, priest, or some type of higher fence that's been living two lives. Um, he is going to be exposed. Someone is a narcissist out here, has been pretending to be very religious. Someone does not believe in the religion that they even preach. When someone gets in front of their organization to preach the word of God, they don't believe it. It's all a facade. I don't know if it's for money at this point or it's just for the look of things. Someone, ser someone serves one master in the public and then behind closed doors, someone is into like witchcraft, voodoo. This is someone that may even go to like practitioners and things like that. Uh, someone is very manipulative and hateful. This is one of those hypocrites where public publicly, publicly, they will say that you know, they don't like terror readers, for example. They don't like people that are into divination. They think that's the work of the devil. They think that's the work of the, uh, uh, you know, lower realms or whatever they want to call it, right? It's unholy. Someone's very sophisticated with words and things like that. But lo and behold, this is someone that is into the very acts of what they are saying that they are against. There is something where a higher fence, and this is a false religious higher fence, a religious figure, has some type of vendetta against a feminine energy. This woman could be like a practitioner, a high priestess, someone that does uh, that some someone that does divination. And I don't know what kind of divination she does. She may be into tarot or uh, something else. May not be on YouTube, Facebook, anything like that. Someone may be doing their practices behind the scenes but this man is aware of her in some way shape or form yeah he's aware of her um and he knows that someone is very strong very gifted right someone is very intuitive so this bothers him her intuition bothers him this is one of those people you know you meet them their whole life they've been able to deceive other people around them you know because they say oh you know i'm a pastor i'm a bishop i'm a priest uh, I'm a, 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 a what, what are the other uh, other uh, terms? A reverend, a pope, whatever this is, honey. They may be able to, you know, pass as someone that's upright, someone that's uh, orthodox. But you meet them because you're gifted, you're intuitive, you're a, a high priestess, and you could be a higher fan as well that's ordained by the Most High. You see right through this person's facade. Again, it came out. <laughs> You see right through this person's facade and it has them living in fear, right? Um, so they're intimidated by you and they're fearful as well that you are going to expose them. Never mind that they don't realize the actions they're taking behind the scenes are being uh, um, 
observe like someone is watching them like someone has been taking some type of action behind the scenes against a feminine energy and they didn't know the whole time that they were being monitored they were being watched so there could be like a community or someone that's actually in the upright that has been watching a higher fence and they know this person has been lying about you telling a whole lot of lies and things like that and he didn't know the whole time he was being watched Someone may find out and then they're very embarrassed and maybe throwing some type of fit behind the scenes because someone, someone's uh, veil has been pulled down. They, they can't hide anymore who they are or this is what's coming up. But there is absolutely a false religious character behind the scenes that's being disillusioned. Someone is like distorted, which is alarming because a lot of these people, you know, that go to these churches, they're trusting people in those positions to be in the upright. Um, for me, a long time ago, I learned, no, 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 no. Then they're no different than me, okay? Until I can see them and know for sure that they are this, you, you're just like me, okay? But someone's veil is either, it, it either has been pulled down or it's, it's about to be ripped off. And they won't be able to walk around pretending to be in the upright anymore. Someone is, I don't know what this is. Like someone has a really nasty energy about them. Like there is very toxic, but they know how to like mask it very well. You can be friends with this person for like decades and not know that they, they hate you. They like have a lot of animosity. They just see them in their heart, their mind. Like someone is filled with nothing but hate, but they've been able to pretend for a long time to be balanced, to be someone that brings justice and balance into situation, but it's all a facade behind closed doors. Is this, this is this person? Someone may even be like, if they're married, maybe cheating on their wife. Um, like someone, someone is just reckless. Someone is very reckless, but there's a feminine energy they've had their eye on. They've been stalking someone online, or they're stalking someone in some way, shape, or form. Like someone, like, like a, a a higher fiend is obsessed with a feminine energy, and he watches you twenty four seven. Someone may even be like lusting after you, right? And you see this person for exactly who they are, so they're not able to fool you because you know exactly who they are. Um, but what someone did, and I'm so sorry, so we, I'm going to try to hurry so we can get into our read. What someone did, a higher fiend, what he did was start, like he's been doing something behind the scenes, causing a lot of mayhem, but pretending like someone else has been doing it. So I don't know how you and this man are connected, but there's something he's been doing and pretending like someone else has been doing it. And someone lusts after a feminine energy a lot. But he knows that you don't, I don't know if he knows that you don't see him that way. You're just not on the menu for him or something like that. And someone is pissed off about that. There is something, I don't know what this is, but there's something where it's like a higher fiend of some religious character is obsessed with a woman, like obsessed. All he does is watch you, watch you. And he's disappointed because you don't see him as wish fulfillment. Okay. You don't see him as wish fulfillment. You could be someone that's an, that, that's like an ascendant master, but this man has been doing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes to defeat you has been causing a lot of conflict in your life. You don't know why things have been going the way they are, why people are uncertain about you. This is because this man has people in some type of mental imprisonment about you. And this is why people are walking away from you and holding back from you. When in reality, you are someone very abundant, someone very worthy of working with and things like that. You're someone that's very divinely guided. There's some type of epiphany someone is going to have about an empress energy. And they may decide to invest in that person or pay that person to do some type of healing work for them. Okay. But there will be a religious character, religious character, because this person is only religious on the surface. Like someone is about to be doing like the walk of shame. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our, oh yeah, and when they do, this is going to be them. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot card reading. I'm so sorry that took so long, but I wanted to mention that download that I got, that goes our higher fence. 
maybe out here paying for rituals and things like that. Um, someone may want to take some type of impulsive action. There could be a couple out here that's really passionate about causing some type of conflict in your life, causing endings and still mix. They don't know how to let go of something because they want to force some type of victory that they're not ever going to have they may need to go within now um and thread with caution because some type of truth or clarity could have been brought into a situation and they were doing something they have been hiding behind the scenes there's a couple or a community that has been collaborating with a, a king of pentacles in um in secret to do something uh against another energy whether this is temper with your resources whether this is the temporal yeah with your connections and things like that your investments prevent two people from coming together getting two people to walk away from each other hold back from each other there is some type of truth and clarity in a situation you may receive a message about what a group of friends have been doing or someone may communicate with you as well to let you know they're interested in you excuse me but someone will be communicating with you to let you know what someone has been doing to interfere with your resources okay and they've been doing the same thing to another energy behind the scenes <coughs> there could be a king of cups that's trapped in some type of situation behind the scenes and has been telling a whole lot of lies and things like that someone may be trying to manifest you back into their life but you don't want nothing to do with them yet they're trying to manifest you back into their life but you know this person is a common thief may have accepted some type of bribery behind the scenes before to cause some type of hindrance or endings to your plans your uh, dreams your aspirations block your victories block love and things like that but now someone is burdened because what the ancestors have stepped in to bring balance there could be like a wife energy that's under judgment um people may be having some type of revelation about you as well i'm so sorry there's some it's like someone is doing some type of energy work they want me to forget what i'm saying they not know now i remember what i want to say now i do there is some type of epiphany going on amongst a group of people and that has to do with you as an empress energy okay someone is not able to keep lying anymore their victory is not like this was a short-lived victory there's a whole group going through an ending, right? They're, they're unsure of the path ahead of them now, right? They've been doing a lot of rituals, a lot of lies, doing things with material motives, hitting motives and things like that. These are people that get together to cause other people's endings, but something is not going in their favor because you could be someone that's real gifted and you see these people a mile away, keeping your distance from them. It's like they are planning on some type of sophisticated way on how they can get you back into some type of what karmic situation and they're like well you know what in time we'll have this person trapped again but it's like no you won't <laughs> no you won't you all are already defeated this cycle is over someone is having a fresh start somewhere else and they are protecting their fresh start and they don't care how difficult it's going to be okay um but there is a group of people working together behind the scenes still even though a a a, a a cycle should have been over a long time ago. Um, they're still trying to work together to hinder someone. Now, you could have a king of pentacles behind the scenes that's working on bringing balance into a situation. Um, seeing truth, seeing the truth. What in the world is going on? Excuse me. This man sees the truth about how either a Sagittarius and a Queen of Wands are working together to cause some type of hindrance behind the scenes, cause a lot of illusions and things like that took some type of uh, action because they had some type of authority. This could be the Sagittarius that took some type of authority to do something, communicate something that he should not have communicated. Maybe he was trying to hinder someone's independence or something like that. They may have lied to a king of wands, which led him to hold him back from you, Miss Independent. This is what I call my nine of pentacles card. Uh, he did something, right? It, these two work together to cause some type of blockage, stagnation. Like they, they made someone hold back from you and it was all based on a lie, okay? It was all based on a lie, but someone now is looking everything over. They're seeing everything for what it is. They're seeing that, hey, these two people have been working together the whole time to cause this stagnation, right? 
So he may be taking action now to bring balance into a situation. Someone could be walking away from a community. Uh, you, or this could be someone like, like a third party that nobody knows outside of this community. I keep seeing a king of swords that's pissed off behind the scenes. Someone thought they were going to come in. And I picked up on him before. Yeah, I picked up on him before. He thought he was going to take some type of action to come into someone's life and give them some type of false offer. And then after he gives you the offer, he's going to end up what? <laughs> Trapping you, blocking you, causing you some type of stagnation in life, deplete your resources, have you living out here paycheck to paycheck, whatever that is. And someone now, he's burdened because he can't come towards you because the truth is out. But what he's been doing this whole time when it comes to balance, someone has been out here while pretending to be cool, but the whole time doing madness behind the scenes, juggling people behind the scenes. Okay. Uh, there's a queen of wands in here, and this is possibly someone that was working with a king of, I heard king of swords, king of pentacles, something like that. This, uh, this, uh, uh what is this? This temperance, Sagittarius energy, someone was working with him. They're both pissed off. What? Because you are not stuck. They're not able to bind you. You're not binded to a contract with these people. I don't think you ever were binded in a contract with these people, but they were under some type of illusion that you were binded. So because you're no, no longer maybe around these people or wherever this is, they're taking some type of impulsive action to come in and try to start over a karmic cycle, but they can't, okay? Someone is coming towards you with the re wrong intentions. They're coming towards you with the wrong intentions, so it's not going to work. Oh, yeah, that's the absolute truth. They are coming towards you with the wrong intentions. They're seeing, like, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Someone is busy with these spell works behind the scenes. <sighs> Excuse me. There is a woman that a man partnered up with. He thought this was his twin flame because she presented herself in some type of light. He's realizing that she's not his twin flame. She's not abundant. She's not limited. She does not have any type of spiritual gift. She's not innovative. She's not, none of those things. Someone is just way down and competing with another energy to be that energy. Okay. This woman has no goals in life. This couple has no goals in life. Uh, these people, the whole group, the whole community don't got no goals in life. The only thing they know is that they got a block of feminine energy, a divine feminine. That's it. Outside of that, no, 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 no. Okay. They may have, uh, honey, I guess this is the truth. <laughs> I guess this is the truth. These people don't got no goals in life. The only thing they care about is destroying a divine feminine and, and a divine masculine from coming together. All these people are way down, burning behind the scenes, experiencing losses and things like that. And it's a little bit too much for them. This queen of wands here, she said, I, over my dead body, am I going to sit and let these two come together? Someone could be looking for you. Someone could have just came out of prison, out of jail or something. Yeah. And she's out here pretending like she's not out in the cold. <laughs> but the whole time something is over with her and what this king of cups there's a king of cups behind the scenes that knows the truth and he's speaking the truth in regards to what this woman did with another i don't know if it's another king of cups or maybe she and this sagittarius has some type of relationship going on so maybe she sees him as a king of cups honey i don't know this is a complicated and messy energy and i'm about to hurry and get the heck up out of it but they're seeing her for who she is. This woman may have just been relieved, released out of jail. Some type of new beginning she wanted to have. She's not having it. She's not innovative. She's not creative. Has nothing to offer. So she's just out here free from jail or free from some type of mental imprisonment she had herself in. But she has to start life over. She's not receiving some type of offer. I don't know if this is an offer of commitment. She expected to receive some type of like recognition, some type of payout. Like there's a woman out here that was expecting to receive some type of recognition uh, for work. Yeah, I'm telling you, she ain't receiving it. 
for work that she didn't do. So this is like someone copying another person's work, but then expecting to receive recognition for it. Honey, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. The whole group, the whole, everything, they're going through endings. This collaboration is over. They may have taken actions to block your work and now they're going through what? Stillmates. The King of Pentacles going through a stillmate. Maybe have maybe was having a hard time seeing the truth. Someone may have martyred himself working with these people. He thought it was going to be successful. It's not. He was under an illusion the whole time that he was going to have some type of fresh start by working with these people. It, it, it's not. It's not so. So now he has to thread with caution on how he how he moves forward in life and who he's going to be partnering up with. Okay. But the whole group is going through ending. This is something they didn't see coming. They never had this epiphany before, but now they do. Someone could be being hunted behind the scenes by a, a group of ancestors or just one. Talking about, hey, you see dead people. Uh-huh. And they ain't happy about this. I don't want to see dead people anymore. I don't want to see dead people. He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Until these two come together, you is going to keep seeing what? <laughs> dead people. Don't be looking down now. They're right here. That you see dead people. You're going to see them every day. Until what? These two come together and seal onto karma waters. <laughs> you thought you were creative? We can be creative too. Yeah, someone's being hunted by our ancestors or a group of ancestors behind the scenes. They say you is going to keep seeing us until these two come together to work and so their lives can be balanced out. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's a hey, karmic woman, you didn't know this. We wanted to tell you something about yourself you never knew. <laughs> you see dead people, you can see the other side. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want to see dead people. It's a temporary gift she has now. <laughs> it's a temporary gift she has. Once everything is balanced out, she'll stop seeing dead people. <laughs> but right now, this is her. <laughs> she said, ah. There's something in here about a child. I don't know if there's a mother that... I don't know what this is. Because I know a while back I had a dream about a child. Like a group of people did something to a child. And I don't know if they did something to a child and tried to blame it on someone else. But you weren't around when it happened, so they couldn't blame it on you. But there's something going on with a child. Like, I don't know if a mother is negligent behind the scenes or a group of people were negligent behind the scenes. I don't know if they, like, sacrifice, uh, you know, a, a little one or something. There's something is going to be reviewed about that. If someone is worried about this behind the scenes, there's a whole group. I think they did something. They did something to a child. Mm. There's a whole group that's fighting. I don't know what this is. This energy is draining. I'm about to get out of here. I'm not even going to finish this because, honey, who has time? Yeah. These people are receive, uh, having still mitts in the plans that they have now. They're not able to come up with new plans on how to block people. They're not able to come up with new plans on how to end some type of offer for being given to someone. They're not able to block your intuition, your gifts. It's like they want to be able to block you from being you. They, they want to block your downloads. They want to block your dreams. Like there's a masculine out here that's very determined. Is that we're going to block her dreams. We're going to block her intuition. We're going to block her connection with her ancestors. We're going to block her connection with her angels. We're going to block her connection to the divine. And the whole time, the whole heavenly realms, they're sitting back and say, I want to see how they're going to do this. This has to be entertaining. We've never seen this one before, but we're going to see it now. Let's see how they're going to do this. They can't. You're still victorious out here. And they're still lying to themselves and burdened. There's something these people did where it was like a short-lived short -lived victory. They thought it was going to be some type of long-lasting success. No, 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 no. But them ancestors, they're sitting back. Oh, I wonder how they're going to separate her from us. I want to see this. Talking to each other, talking about, hey, we get to have front row seat on this entertainment. Hush, don't say nothing. We'll give her a break from seeing us. But once we're done watching this, it's back to her. 
Let's watch. Dun, 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 dun. Disappointment. Back to her. <laughs> it said, let's get back to weighing her down. <laughs> She's back to seeing dead people. <laughs> Someone's being hunted. I don't... Someone is being hunted. Are you being hunted, darling? <laughs> you told you were magical till you met the real magical people. So there's a queen of wands out here that thought she was magical till she met an actual magical woman. She said, oh, but I want to keep pretending to be magical. I'll even pretend to be her. And they're like, no, 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 no. You got to live in your truth. You got to live in your truth. Okay, you can turn over a new leaf and put an end to this cycle. And, or you can keep going in circles. Which one do you want? <laughs> She's going in circles, folks. <laughs> That's the God's honest truth. She's going in circles. He said, it's okay. You can keep on going. She wee, 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 wee. Nutcase. Nutcase. Someone's on like a Ferris wheel of karma. <laughs> Stupidity. And she don't know it. <laughs> she said, oh, I know more than she knows. I'm better at that than she is. And the ancestors are like, oh, really? Oh, really? Really? Okay. We're about to find out. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> Guess you're not. <laughs> Disappointment. They said, We're going to find out. <laughs> she just said, They said, Show us what you can do. And she went mute. <laughs> Don't got nothing to say. <laughs> She said, Let me, give me some time. This is when she goes to her practitioner. I need you to help me be a powerful practitioner just like you are this uh, this uh, empress. They said, uh, I can't help you. They're watching you. <laughs> They're watching you. If I help you, <laughs> if I help you, I'll be in trouble just like you. So you're going to have to figure that out by yourself. You mean I actually got, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to prove it. They want to see, since you say you're better than their daughter, they want to see you prove it. <laughs> I want to see you. Show us what you got, darling. Some ancestors. Someone's ancestors are historical out here. So we want to see what you know. What do you know? Because we are part of everything there is, past, present, and future. Our lineage is part of everything. So we want to know what you know that we don't know. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> and she's throwing a fit behind the scenes. They cannot come together. I am the empress. When you got to say you're the empress, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> They cannot come together. I put in too much work to block these two from coming together. <laughs> this is not fair. Immature little girl. I swear, some of these women, they just be out here set on embarrassing the rest of us women. Say, so why, why, why must you do this, Elizabeth? Why must you do this? Stop embarrassing us. Stop embarrassing us. Collective, you are being warned to be aware of some type of danger someone may be trying to put you in. It could be Elizabeth that's trying to come into your energy. Um, they're trying to cause you burdens and things like that, wear you down, cause restrictions and things like that. But you're being advised to stay vigilant. Right? Whatever they do, it's not going to work. Someone is desperate out here to make sure you don't get to your destination, but you will. You will get to your destination. Oh, yeah, you will. This says what? It says uh, you may experience obstacles and things like that and restrictions, but success will come. Okay? That's the fence. Open or close. If it's closed, that, mean that, that means that there may be some type of stagnation or restriction that you experience, but it'll come to pass. If you ever see a fence that's open, that means that you're, you are free to go, free to go in, free. Like I'm talking about, talking about metaphorically, metaphorically. 
Thank you. In life, that means that you are free to go on to walk through the gates, right? Travel to your next destination, whatever that is. There are no restrictions. There are no obstacles. There are no uh, barriers. Um, and then we have the elephant, which means that you're someone very wise with a lot of wisdom and you're someone very strong. And you need to be gentle with yourself and patient with yourself. Success will come towards you. Okay. Um, so just be alert because there's someone out here that's very impulsive that wants to do you something and it's going to be, I don't I, like, I want to say something, but then I don't want to say it because it's very imperative for someone to take some type of action that they're going to take. You're going to be okay. But it's necessary for someone to take some type of action because it's going to bring an ending to something that has been going on for a long time. Okay. Uh, and you are going to be a okay. The other party. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now, folks.